Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to the stream. It is Thursday, the 23rd of August. We are back with Hacknet episode number two. So if you weren't in the stream yesterday or... Um, yeah, if you weren't in the stream yesterday, basically we started playing and we got quite far, I think. It's fair to say. I think we got quite far. Uh, now, unfortunately... I am going to turn the music off because, unfortunately, the music is not YouTube friendly. So, um, yeah, hopefully we will still get some form of sounds. But uh, without further ado, let's begin our hacking, shall we? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So, um, uh, something that's been bothering me for a while, blah, 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 blah. This is the other guy, isn't it? Yeah, I think when we left off yesterday, they said that we had to um, like try and go and hack this other guy's machine. And I would like you to delete what he stole. The IP he used to access the server is attached. The archive should be on that node somewhere. So, I need to go, actually, to the... Um, Asset server. Now, did I download this? Did I download this? Let me check my own file system. I did. Fantastic. All right, so this is our uh, target node, it seems. So let's see if we can let's see if we can remember how to do this. So we need three cracks. Uh, we need some proxies. And of course, we're going to be traced. So SSH 22, FTP 21, SMTP as 25. Excellent. Proxy has been bypassed. We can disconnect from you. Okay, uh, so now we can uh, port hack. Oh, I need to leave the proxy open. Ha. All right, well, I'm trying to be clever. Um, interestingly, I did manage to hack that, so uh, I've turned the music off, so it's uh, YouTube safe errand. Uh, 25. That's why there's no sound. Did I run out of memory or something during that? I guess I, get, I guess I probably did. Okay. I have your file system. Uh, I am. In. That's it. I am all. Yeah, well, it's just one of those things. See ya. Close the proxies. Disconnect from here. And. Uh, H 
How can I? Oh shit. Oh dear. <laughs> um. Hmm. What didn't I? Differential, thank you very much for the 64 bits, buddy. Appreciate it. How are you doing today? Hope you are well. So what happens now? Do I, does everything just restart? Or? And another 64 bits for a cat live stream. Cat live stream? I ain't got no cats. I ain't doing no cat live stream. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so well, I'm already connected to local host, right? All right, so do I have to, um, connect one five eight dot two one nine dot thirty nine dot thirty nine. So I'm connected and Don't spoil, man. Don't spoil. Spoilers. Jeez. So I can actually do it, probably do it from here, right? Uh, connect to one, two. Three dot three dot two twenty eight. Oh no, that's slash bot news. Uh Local host work? No. Two oh eight. It is pretty cool. That's uh, that extra element of realism. It takes me back to my college days where I actually had to install. Um, uh, where I had to freaking install operating systems using the command prompt. File deleted by seven. Okay, so connect to seventy-seven dot one seven seven dot fifty-four dot one one eight. Uh, pro. So then I can do a SSH twenty-one twenty-two. Pro complete open ports. Cracks complete. So I then should be able to do a port hack. And then I'm going to do 
cd sys rm all uh Just everything. What am I doing? Why now? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Screw myself over. Uh, Oh really? That's literally it. Do I have to like start the whole game again now then? Have I like totally screwed the whole game? That's not good. The weird thing is that even though I deleted his system files, I can st I'm still on his. Um... Okay, so cat. Okay, thank you. Oh, there is three pages though. There is three pages to help if I'd have looked. So, all right, let me do. Um... Am I connected to my own machine? Um, ba, 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 ba. Ooh. All right, so what if I then do connect to 158.219.39.32? And then I'm going to go to sys list and uh, let's do scp transfer complete and connect to 208 uh where was that again i try i can't see it can't see it can't see it 28.42.90.2 38 it's pretty cool pretty cool indeed Done, did fix, did my PC and stuff. <laughs> oh, um, hmm, uh, yeah. What did I learn? Uh, this is all a bit a bit different. Is this because I'm using somebody else's system file? Just put my stuff and leave out consequences. Do you think I won't notice? Do you think I won't find you? Your pathetic script script kitty. You couldn't hack a honey pot without your precious buttons and scroll bars. Say goodbye to your ex server, idiot. Scotty. 
Скажи, е пал. Окей, so. Can I get back onto his machine? Or do I just take another... I did learn that. I did learn that indeed. Okay. Is he going to do this again to me? I've literally deleted everything on his computer. See ya. Hopefully that will do. Here's the way you complete the requested task, at least at a curiosity look. Hopefully this community's profile will remain a little civilized for some time longer. While the job appears to be done for now, I'm not entirely convinced there were no other copies. I expect to hear something about it being deleted from one of the hacker IRC channels if channels I idle in, but nothing so far. Hopefully it's the direction or something that they're trying to cover up. If you'd like to poke around a little more, I'll be my guest. In the meantime, there's something you could give me a hand with. Someone on those channels has been talking about the job you're investigating. It says he's got the IP the server files were taken from. Could you see if you could get it for me? Just reply to this with the IP as additional text. I ran a simple track on him and it looks like the data will be linked, will be where I linked. Uh, so what do I need to do? Reply with the... Which am I replying to? Or do I need to go onto his first? Uh, I'm not getting the hand of it, I'm getting the hang of it. I don't know why I need to actually. I don't want to keep disconnecting because this Valance software isn't that my server anyway? Uh, all right, so can I have more than can I set any more proxies up or not? Yeah, I can, can I? Yeah, all right, well. Okay. 
one to finish. Oh, jeez. So I'm looking for an IP, right? Holy cow. A few file system. Uh, holy shit. That's it. One six eight sixty one eighty two two four six. Yet. So this is in my console, was it? Okay. Do I need to still go back onto that machine and clear out my... Do I need to go back and delete the logs? Proxy still bypassed? What? Wait. That seems a bit broken. I do have the IP. I've, I've written it down. I've written it down. That seems a little broken. Surely if I've been booted off, I should have to like rehack it. No? Hmm. Oh well. So it was one six eight dot sixty one dot eighty two dot two four six. It appears though you completed the quest task. Hopefully, this community profile will remain a little civilized for some time longer. Where your current service to entry is greatly appreciated, it's become clear that the organization will not satisfy you. To be honest, entropy was never going to be a big player in the hacker world. I created some sort of goodwill front to what's been very quickly de -terror deteriorating public image of the hacker subculture. While I hope that you'll continue to help out entropy need if entropy needs you, you've more than deserved this offer. I'm a member of a rather powerful invite-only hacker group known as CSEC, a group which contains only exceptional hackers and computer security experts, where I think you'd fit right in. I've sent, sent a request for you to receive an invite, and you should receive an email from them shortly with an acceptance test. Know what? Know that I do not do this lightly. An invite from this group is highly sought after in some circles. Okay. Hey, TG. What's going on, buddy? Thanks. Okay. Uh, this group is an invite only. So even though it like kicks you out and you're on a time limit. Okay, interesting indifferential. Thanks for the info. Um, the Sys Group is an invite-only group of talented hackers and digital security experts. We offer substantial knowledge. Shit, pencil. Uh, substantial knowledge and, 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 and resources to exceptional individuals to create a community of shared learning, information, and progress. Uh, TG is over on Mixer right now. Um... A member of our group is extended as an administrative detail or require a small demonstration of your abilities and knowledge in order for you to accept into the group. To continue, please reply to this email with the password you will find associated with your name on one of our test servers. If you have any difficulties, we recommend you consult your NEA. Congratulations and good luck. Okay. That's the archive. 
So I want... I went, I went, I went. This one. Invitation gauntlet. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with. Firewall. Firewalls have been around for a very long time. Most uh, moderate modern firewalls, however, will be configured to prevent all security critical traffic unless it is prefixed by a firewall solution, often referred to as a password to end users. Though there is a distinct error. In the situation, the firewall solution will need to be provided before an unsyndicated login attempt can be attempted, effectively meaning that any known password cracking software will be useless while a firewall is active. Firewall complexity can be examined by the with the analyze, analyze command. Running the analyze command multiple times will automatically detect patterns in the response data header and will eliminate characters it can guarantee are not part of the correct firewall solution. Once potential solution is found, the command solve firewall solution can be used to attempt to syndicate. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Um... Do you know what? I've already forgotten the command it told me to write. Uh, <laughs> such is my bad at short term memory. Analyze. Alright. Alright, so then what do I do? Sorry? Patterns. Okay, so we've got to run it multiple times. Kraken. So then once I've analyzed, I then do solve and then Kraken. All right, so now I can probe. Firewall solved. Open some ports. I'm sure once I've done it a couple of times around, I'll uh, certainly pick up the pace a bit. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. All right, so. I guess there's like lots of interesting things that you could read around here. Uh, cat, continue. It's on a link server. All right, so then I need to do scan. Okay. It's got a proxy. And it's overload. Does it automatically over? What do you have to do? Like when you download it, do you just reboot your system and then it applies like the latest one? Is that how it works? DC from this one, right? Uh, I 
Fall. Excellent, we're in. This is another link server. So how do I rename that actually? You know, I'll do it later. Let's not worry about it now. Uh, so there should be another linked server. Alright, so do I need the proxy first or the firewall? Oh shit. Uh. It wasn't analyzed. What was the other one? Shit, I can't remember what it was. Fuck. Oh, shit. Solve. Jeez. K U N K K A. Wait, so I think that's a bug. If you go off the server, hmm. Oh no. Maybe not. So until you start then redoing something else on the server, I guess. All right. File system. Gift. All right. Uh Okay. So I think I've done it, right? So that's my password. Which is A B X O seven C C nine. Woo! Well done passing the automation to automated test. Not everyone manages it, which kind of makes me think why you were invited in the first place, really. So you're on to round two, which means I get to make something up, which means something fun. I've got something good in mind for you. Shouldn't be too easy either. I want you to break into the CFC servers and find me the 11 secret herbs and spices. Is that meant to be KFC? <laughs> uh, if you get a hold of the list and upload it to the... If you get a hold of the list and upload it to the public drop server, I'd be more than happy to let you in. Good luck. Uh... 
All right, so, hold on, let's go to, right, so, how do we do? How do I rename a file? There we go. We moved it. We did a move. Excellent. Still got my proxy open, which. All right, so. Ports required to crack. All right, so we don't need a proxy. Oh. Oh. Wait a second. Is there something? Is there something? Maybe I can use the worm. Wonder if I could wonder if I could modify that some way. I oh, know. Anyway, um Service exclusively for content. All company files should be hosted on the more secure mainframe and internal servers. Alright. So that's the default boot module, right? So can I create a file? More to point, can I edit a file? Pens a line containing data to file name. Aha. Alright. 
So why don't we do? Here what we'll do. We'll do. Uh, Did I just break it? Hey, yeah, I broke it. Uh, but yeah, that's not what I was trying to do. I want to make a copy of it. Just realized what it's HMTL. What? What am I doing? There we go. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so how do I, I thought I could use. The append is just adding to the end. Place. This with this. Did it work? No. This is just like ridiculous. I'm getting far too distracted. It's not good.
to speech marks there. That's pretty cool though. That's pretty freaking cool. All right, anyway, I'm getting far too distracted. Let's head over to the mainframe. Actually, we should probably, we should probably uh, clear our logs first. So let's go to the corporate mainframe. Could do all four. Jeez. Seems like I've got plenty of time though. Time is really slow on this one. Which is good. Alright, so there's another server. No employer secret herbs and spices. That's what I want. Is that the file I want? Uh, la, 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 la. Repository firewall. Uh, is it solve? Solve. Chicken. Of course. Uh. Solve. Come on. Gotta remember solve. Jeez. Got to remember that solve. Nowhere else. I don't think there's anything here though, is there? Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so. I've now got to upload it, right, to the here. All 
All right, so home. That's not right. Do not download it. Oh. Load complete. What did I do? What did I forget to do? What did I forget to do? Many new employees will question the secret formula out of curiosity because they wish to be more to be more involved in the company. Fortunately, the formula is far too important to give out to all workers. And such it is protected. The combination is sent to stores regularly in unmarked white plastic bags and should be mixed with frying batter as directed. So what did I miss? My bad. Two separate deliveries. So hold on. Who each provide half of the mix? New Mexico facility combines spices one through six. Local Kentucky facility mixes the remaining five spices. Prepared bags of the seasoning mix are sent to franchise where it's combined with flour, powdered egg, and dried milk, and salt breading mix in store to create a final product. Aha!
All right, so that should be it. Upload those two to the server. Uh, what was the files called? Shit. They're right there. We did it. Nice one. I've actually had to dig around on the mainframe for a while ago and couldn't find it. Props to tracking it down. That's quite the entrance you've made for yourself. I'll take the opportunity to formally welcome you to CSEC. Everyone here knows what they're doing, at least to some extent, so you should feel right at home if you found that last job easy. I've attached your new login details to the hub server. From there, you can pick up contracts, download new code, and generally just use it as a home base. I'll stay in touch. Go pick yourself up some new programs from the stash as a congratulations present. Excellent. Okay, Nick. Where am I on this list? Right at the bottom, rank zero, jeez. Okay, so uh, we can do SCP to X server C sick. Oh, okay. Can't download because I need admin access. All right, gotcha. Oh, did I did I done did a boo boo? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, asset server. Oh, I can add that as a note, can't I? I thought I could add that as a note. Oh, okay. It's there now. Weird. Admin CSEC 5XG3D11. I like the way the password isn't like, uh, doesn't go over enough. Themes. It's a yeah. Sorry. Uh, memory corruption injector is totally exploited for public-facing SQL ports. Injects table entry that, when read, causes memory corruption error in the database. Then immediately queries said table, causing an immediate database crash and core dump. 
This will temporarily allow otherwise unauthorized traffic on the SQL server port before the target OS cleans up the dying SQL connection and restarts the service. The program, when in display mode, will output its operational status at the top and the SQL server output, ideally a memory dump, at the inject entry underneath. Okay. Yeah, we've already got the web server worm. All right, kill. Cool, cool, cool. Um, can I still take contracts from Entropy? No. Do I still have my username and password for Entropy? It's Nick and Rosebud. Just interested. So I can still do these ones then. I can't anymore because my user ID is okay. So I can't anymore because of that. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, so we have to go for this one going forwards. It's fine, it's fine. They got a cool message board look. All right, anyway, um, I am actually gonna be leaving it there for today, but which one shall we apply? Let's go for uh, da, 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 da. Do I need to rename? I can't remember. Oh, my memory is terrible. All right, so that's MV. Uh, we're gonna do let's do the chicken one sys2 x sys and let's reboot Hey, this is like my original one. This is just like my original one. All right, well, I think it's probably as good a place as any to call it for today. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in as always. Uh, I'll be back again later on tonight with uh, some more Infinifactory uh, around about 9, 9.30 p.m. BST. And then tomorrow we'll be back at the 1 p.m. slot um, playing some more of this Hacknet and see what we can do for the uh, CSEC group. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya. <laughs>